Having all this passion for something, how do you foster passion in your children? Conversation. I often ask my kids, and we, we had <laughs> repeated conversations as they were growing up. What do you want to become? What do you want to become? Because it changes. I remember when they were, you know, three years old, that, that age when boys like cars and their world is only cars. <laughs> they wanted to be truck drivers. I was like, <laughs> really? I'm driving you to school in the morning traffic for you to become a yes, I don't no. think so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, God, Sorry. please give them another vision for their <laughs> lives. Anyhow, fast forward a few years later, it was something else. At some point, they both thought they wanted to be pilots. But it's asking them again. And, and even as a parent, I think being in tune and noticing what do they like and how can we support them in that. And my kids have been, I think, erratic in that sense. At some point, it was piano. At another point, it was recorder. And at another point, it was tennis. At another point, it was football. At another point, it was swimming. And then you think you're going down the swimming road. And no, nope, it's an, you know, <laughs> and it can get exasperating. Right. Because you're like, settle with one thing so that I can plan right. my life. Right. But it's not about my life. It's about <laughs> right. their life. Right. And I think it's just allowing them to discover. It's allowing them, it's, it's holding back as a parent and saying, you know what? I had my chance, mm -hmm. this is their chance, and mine is to walk the journey with them. One wants to be a basketball, another <laughs> one wants to be a pilot. And how did I know? Mm -hmm. Conversation. Right. It's just asking, what do you want to be? And how can I help you if I can? Do you know the schools where you can go? That really has been it. It's conversation and allowing them to discover and knowing it's not your life yours is to walk beside them as they do their life. One of the reasons why this question is always important to me is because when I finished my O-levels and went to HSC, I had read a book called Doctors and I thought, oh my God, I just want to be a doctor. That's all I want to do. And so I made it known to all my teachers and everything, you know, how, how we had to say what we wanted yes. to do in HSC. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do physics, chemistry and biology. All my teachers looked at me and said, this is not your path. This is not really what you want to do, but 16 year old, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do, mm -hmm. right? And they had a different idea of the kinds of things that I could do. And looking back on it, they were right. They were <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so, so again, and, and that's why conversation is important. Right. And that's why you need to know when to apply the pressure right. and when to let go. Mm -hmm. And that also maybe one never really settles because there are people who at 40, I suddenly realized what I actually, actually wanted to do. So some people may never arrive. And I think we shouldn't pressure people to, you're in school, you should know what you want to do. No. <laughs> and it can change. And it does change. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It does. And for some, I know what I wanted to do since I was born. So it's different for different people. Experiences, conversation, people seeing into your life. But again, I think it wasn't just because they told you, therefore you weren't. Right. I think you also continued the internal conversation and, and the trying different things until you settled with who you wanted to become. It was a revelation when mom got sick mm -hmm. and was at Mulago. And I got to spend the time there and sort of see what the doctors had to deal with. And I was like, not for me. <laughs> yes. That was when the doctor dream sort of ended yeah. for No, me. and I think you've been also telling me who, who is, was it you or, or Rachel? Is there a pilot that, that Jeffrey knows that he can talk to mm -hmm. so that maybe that can also help inform him? Because again, sometimes these are dreams that you have and, and then there's a the reality, not to kill your dream, but to, I think- To prepare for yes, it. Yes, to prepare. And so I'm, I, then I started to think, oh, maybe I should look for a pilot mm -hmm. to have a conversation. I mean, he would have definitely a better conversation with Jeffrey than I can. Mm -hmm. Do I know a basketball player or a person who wanted to pursue that dream mm -hmm. that can talk to Jotham as well? But it's conversation. Yes. Do you have any questions for me? This year, I sense a fire. You're on the go. You're doing. You're. Do what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing. I mean, I'm, I'm. I look at you, and that's why I said in the beginning, I am totally proud of you because you've picked yourself up, and you are. It's like you're a steamroller. Like nothing in my way. I'm going to do this. So, where where does that come from? A lot of the conversations that I've been having in the past number of years, I think I was, I was led to believe, and I don't know where I got this information, that when a good thing comes 
it will come to you. But I waited for the good things and, and thought that the good things were coming and they didn't come. Nothing was, no one was knocking at my door to give me an opportunity or whatever. I had to forge journey on my own. And also understanding that sort of as part of the things that have happened in my life, I cut myself off from the public and had retreated into a safe space where I could explore things that I wanted to explore without any ridicule. That cannot happen. If your goal is to have a book that you are giving to people to read, there'll be people who absolutely hate it, mm -hmm. there'll be people who absolutely love it, and all colors of people in between. Yes. So it became important for me to put myself out of that comfortable zone where nothing really happens to go past the edges of the things that were comfortable for me and see what I could do out there in the things that I have never done before. Did, I don't know if you can see behind me. A vision me. board. In fact, I was going to say, I hope you do do an episode just on the vision board. Yeah. That was one of the things you shared with me early this year. And I thought, oh my goodness. And I think that has also been part of, you know, not just holding my passions in my head, but let me put them out there on a space that I can see every day. And, and that will be part of what energizes me because yeah, I just feel if you've, you've broken through your Yes, that's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Final thoughts. It's been an interesting conversation and thank you for having it with me. And my final thought would be, do you? Because that's what, you know, she's totally doing her and that's what she does every week when she brings herself, her very true authentic self, the sister that I know, out to you. So you don't feel like I'm like a presenting no, something different? No, 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 different? no, 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 I'm like, yeah? that's Gloria <laughs> and there's even more. So be you, do you, and there is more. There is always, always more, and life doesn't end until it ends, so don't end it prematurely. Just keep going, keep discovering, breakthrough, breakthrough, vision board. Gloria is going to do a session just on vision boards and how you put that together and what it's about and how it can be part of doing you. Thank you so much for being here with me today and with Namaste. my sister. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, what is going on? The subscribe button is just below Jackie. And there will be an animation up here that will let you know exactly how to do it. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, for listening in all the way to the end. Thank you for listening to my awesome, awesome sister. See you again next week. In the meantime, have a great week. Do you. Bye!